The worst advice I never took was to move out of Austin, Texas and start my business in New York. You know, I remember when I first started and I actually came to New York to do a trade show and I was setting up my booth and there was an editor who came by and said, you know, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Austin, Texas. And she kind of laughed at me and she said, well, you can't be a real fashion brand if you're not out of New York City. But fortunately, she was wrong. Did you ever consider changing where you were from or, or trying to say I'm from a different place? You know, at that point, I was a new mom. I had a little baby. Um, you know, Texas was home for me and I loved Austin. It was such a creative city. And it is a community that really supports small business. And I just knew in my heart of hearts that we could make it work. And I think Austin has become such a big part of our brand. And we have a very unique perspective of our design because we're influenced by this really cool city that we live in. And it really has given us an advantage. One of the biggest messages I see from your story is the strength of the outsider. The outsider can be the biggest player. This is an American dream story. You know, I started out of the extra bedroom of my house with $500 stringing beads together. I didn't have formal training. I didn't finish college. I mean, really all the things that people said you have to do in order to have a successful business, um, I didn't do the right way. I kind of colored outside the lines and I was fearless and I just went out and thought, you know, I'm gonna give this a go. And I think, you know, for a lot of women and people out there, Anything is possible when you believe and you surround yourself with people that also believe in you. Thank goodness you ignored that editor. Yes. <laughs>